too much. And I think Stevie Wonder is defying the odds. The blind dog came into the world as a foster puppy. At the time, Ronnie Nordle was fostering several litters through Regina Rescue CC Rescues. Stevie was one of a litter of nine. But he had trouble with his eyes and became sick. When Nordle realized there was problems, she considered putting him down. I said I could nurse him through that, but he still wouldn't be able to see, and I wondered if that made sense, and I actually said, do you think maybe he should be put down? The rescue said they're in the business of saving dogs, so they paid for his care, and Stevie started coming to work with me, and so that's how Stevie ended up just staying with me. I kind of fell in love with him. No one's told him he's blind, and he doesn't know, so he does just fine. Today, the pair are always together. He even has his own special spot at her law office. I tend to judge people based on their reaction to Stevie. Um, lots of people will just, dog people will just say, oh, and then they'll say, oh, he doesn't have eyes? No, okay, and then some people will say, oh, how does he manage? And those are kind of the people that see disability first. It was this belief in Stevie's abilities that led Nordle to enroll in obedience classes. We got his novice A championship in CKC, uh, being the only mutt and the only blind dog. They had asked me at the beginning if I wanted the judge to know he was not sighted, and I said, no, he doesn't know. In addition to living without sight, the 14-month-old canine has epilepsy. Yeah. He takes everything in stride. Yeah. He adjusts to anything and everybody, and also that he's trusting. I mean, he doesn't really know whether there's a danger. He can't see it, and yet he chooses to, to approach life just like everything's good. Nordle says Stevie Wonder's story carries an important message. It's a lesson that almost anyone or any animal that's given a chance and love can really achieve anything. Madeline Kotzer, CBC News, Regina.